all right you have tests coming up in a week and you've got this much stuff to do so obviously you're going to sit down in the hopes that you're going to finish it all for today five minutes pass and you're fully into it but as soon as it hits 10 minutes you're already on your phone you want to put it down but you tell yourself that you still got the rest of the day to finish it and we all know how that story ends but it's not as easy as just throwing your phone away which is magically going to make you focus more there's actually three main parts to it which if you correct can stop you finally wasting your time on a task which should only take you max one hour all right so if you're actually serious about getting as much stuff done in as little time as possible then you'll know the time before you start working to the first few minutes is crucial i can bet that the days that you feel proper motivated you set yourself so much work but at the end you've still got this much left the solution well just set yourself less tasks because the less you set the more likely you are to complete those few tasks because think about it when you wake up on those days when you know you've only got two pieces of work to do you're gonna think that's super quick to finish so after you finish that you still have the rest of the day to finish off other stuff okay so we've got the to-do list sorted but let's be honest the hardest part of revision is actually starting because we always tell ourselves we're going to start at a specific time but nine times out of ten we always start half an hour later so to get around this what you want to do is you want to find the part of revision that you find the easiest whether it's flashcards exam questions videos whatever gets your brain start working the easiest just stick with that and always start with that as your first piece of work and it is going to take time but eventually you'll see you can start working so much more easily but if you do find that every part of revision is hard for you then the only thing you have left is the five minute rule which is basically where you say to yourself i'm only going to commit five minutes to the work and after the five minutes if you work properly they're fully locked in so you can just start working more easily every time i get it, i get it. you've made the start of your studying proper easy for yourself but you still got so many problems ahead of you at first off how long are you going to be working for in each session and how many times are you going to be doing that each day to get all the work you plan to finished off now if i talk about myself before i used to take so many breaks that like i would work for 15 minutes and then i also take a 15 minute break so i wasn't even following the pomodoro method and with that many breaks i always felt that my brain wasn't ever fully focused on anything and so i'd always drag anything i had to finish until the end of the day and what i've learned now is that starting off never set yourself a time for how long you can study for just find that how long you can fully focus for and it might be at the start you can only focus for 15 minutes max and that's fine but next time in for 20 minutes and so on so keep increasing it up until i would say about one hour because i feel like one hour is the perfect amount of time to study and get quality work done because after that i feel like you're just pushing it but that still leads you on to another issue which is that if you're revising for mocks for example then you're going to be having to do those one hour sessions like two three times a day to get all the work you plan to finish so the only way to go around that is to actually leave all the work unfinished at each session so according to the zeganic effect like your brain actually wants to get back to finishing off unfinished work so that means that even after however long of a break you have after each session you can still get back to working more easily but if you really want to find the secrets to insane focus then joining classes like austin's which you can find on skillshare would be a game changer so skillshare who are sponsoring this video are basically the largest online community for creatives with thousands of classes by industry experts across productivity illustration freelance you name it and skillshare contains all the classes you need to turn your hobbies and passions and take them to the next level so in this case if you were to take the class on improving your focus then you would have access to seven lessons for example on how to maintain deep focus and the good thing about this class is that it doesn't waste your time because each lesson is only like two three minutes long however if you still wanted access to more in-depth material that will for a longer time and you can definitely find them and personally what i love about skillshare is their learn by doing approach where you basically share the projects that you do at the end of each class and get feedback from the rest of the community so if you want to join the other members of skillshare who are just as passionate from going beginner to pro in any skill set then click the link in the description and remember the first 500 of you to click the link in the description and join skillshare will get one month's premium for free to start now now you might think yep i know everything i need to do to increase my focus and work as much as i can in as little time as possible but these last few secrets might actually have the real effect on you increasing your focus so to start off with if you know that your sleep schedule has been messed up lately because you've been trying to balance your school work with your revision then the worst thing you can do is push your way through the day with more work when you know that you're barely understanding whatever that guy's talking about in the video just trust me taking those naps during the day and working later is going to be way better than you dragging on a 20 minute video for like an hour because you've had to replay the same part like three times and another thing you can do is use something called reset breaks basically that you know most of the time you're going to spend your breaks scrolling through youtube tiktok or watching netflix and there's nothing wrong with that 
but if you use the time during the day to do something else like going to the gym or playing cricket or whatever that's actually going to be more efficient for the brain and you can save everything else for them at the end of the day and finally it's actually also nice to use to-do lists like the notes app on the iphone so you can take off all the stuff that you do during the day so then you at least feel that you're doing something useful so if you make all these little tweaks to each main part that i talked about then you'll eventually see that you'll have so much more free time in the day because you finished everything you planned to in the first two hours of the day so comment down below if you find this video useful and subscribe because that's the least you can do for all this valuable information i'm giving you and i'll catch you in the next one peace